An art show in St. Paul celebrates the creativity of people living with mental illnesses in the Twin Cities. The Art Ability Art Show and Sale begins Thursday at the Great Hall in Lower Town in St. Paul. And we are pl really pleased today to be joined by Kristen Falegi with People Incorporated and this year's Art Ability poster artist, Faye Buffington Howell. And what a pleasure to have both of you oh, here today. Thank Great you. to thank meet you. you. And, thank you. And, so happy to be and here. And have you here. Let's talk first a bit. Uh, Kristen, tell us about this. So this year is the 20 24th uh, year that the show is going on. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the Great Hall. Uh, the show itself is completely free, but um, the artwork is for sale. This year we have nearly uh, 600 pieces that have been submitted, and uh, that's by about 160 adults living with mental illness. Please give us some background for the organization and the people participating and whom it benefits. Yeah, so um, actually next year we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary as an organization, so People Incorporated has been around for nearly 50 years, and ArtAbility is, um, we offer over 500 classes of, of art classes um, throughout the year for our clients as well as just for the public and it's anybody 18 years or older with a mental illness so there's poetry, journaling, um, clay, pottery, mosaics, water paintings, anything you can think of. And some amazing creative enterprise there. Enter uh, Faye. Okay, uh, we'll take a look at your uh, beautiful poster, the canvas that you did. Uh, talk uh, to us if you would about the inspiration for it. Uh, well it, it, it came out uh, I wasn't aware that I was inspired, but I was with a friend in my um, artworks, art studio, mm -hmm. and she was making bas baskets. And I was just really fascinated, and I really love baskets because I lived in New Mexico, and it's uh, Indian and Spanish, and it's all this culture. And I love the baskets, so I just, and I collect baskets. And so I decided that I'd uh, combine a still life and a quilt uh, with a basket. Well, so. you have a, a particular gift, and it's obviously oh. well uh, positioned here as the as the poster for this. Your own struggles, uh, you're you're open about talking about. Tell us a bit about that. Well, yeah. uh, uh, I was involved in uh, uh, a marriage that was dysfunctional. It's sort of like domestic abuse. Mm -hmm with uh, um, an I'm adult child of an alcoholic and my husband sort of developed alcoholism and it became very, it became a very difficult uh, marriage. So I ended up with general anxiety and uh, PTSD and I ended up in New Mexico because that's where all the art was. <laughs> and art has been a way, a path, yes. uh, to finding your way into a better place. So that yeah. just opened, it just recovered. I got my disability written down on paper. Mm -hmm. It's only a piece of paper because, yeah. you know, I'm still who I am. Yes. Uh, but uh, between Wellstone and the Medici opened up this new uh, medical mental health, mm -hmm. uh, I think you're familiar with it. I am. The mental health system in New Mexico is, is was very bad. And up here it was yes. better, and you had a better experience, yeah. and you've met all these people yes. and all this great support community. And I'm only so sorry that our time, unfortunately, yes. is up here today, yeah. but uh, it's been a, such a pleasure to have you, you here. Thank you. And I want to tell everyone that the opportunity to check out this beautiful art phase and well, uh, others, you can see it at the, the sale beginning Thursday at the Great Hall in Lower Town in St. Paul. We have information on a lot of it at carolevin.com. Look under the 4 p.m. show page.